Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Shady here. Today is Monday, May 20th. I'll be doing my recap for today. Um, so today I made a lot of trades and it seems like it because I started using um, a custom uh, alert that I uh, created on Thinkorswim um, and it pretty much helped me find uh, flags um, that are up for today. Um, so let's get started. So ABBV, uh, one of the alerts that I had uh, for the flag, uh, you can see here, uh, flagging, um, creating this higher low and breaking above that. Uh, took profit a little early, um, but that was a $24 winner. Um, AFL, so another one that I, uh, that was on my alert, uh, think we're swim alert. Um, it, it had a nice flag, but it didn't break out. Um, but I you can see here that I bought early um, and then I wanted to stop uh, pretty much at these lows. Um, you can see it's like a cup and handle. Um, these are kind of more like less volume stocks uh, that are not traded as much. Um, so it might not work as well, uh, especially if the daily is not um, looking too great. Um, so pretty much I bought early with my wrist off the lower handle here. Uh, then I stopped out and that was $34 loss. So BIOC, um, I did a few trades on this. Um, I think the first trade was here. Um, went a little too early. You can see this, uh, I think the 115 area was the resistance here or support. And you can see um, if this would have crack or this higher low here would have cracked 115, it would have been a good short. Um, but I went in a little early um, and then I stopped out uh, during these high here when it broke when it broke this flag pretty much so you can see here it broke this flag I stopped out right at that flag um, so I took a I took a forty dollar loss here uh, on the short side uh, and then I made it back later so here is where I made it back so you can see in this one minute chart um, it's trending as 90 in May, and then it was having this peak, and having a uh, cup and handle. And then I shorted it, and then I covered the rest at the 145 area uh, because that was the that was the five minute 90 in May test. So I bounced right off the five minute 90 in May there, um, and then I had another short uh, right here. So for this 151 break. Um, you can see is creating this higher, uh, lower high, lower high it broke. I I took a short there, um, took some profits, and then I kind of cut the loss here. So this was kind of an even trade uh, because I didn't take a lot here, um, and I, I think I made a lots. I lost a uh, lots of uh, potential profit because I didn't take most of my shares off. And you'll see that on my other place here. Um, then I tried to take a long here. So you can see, um, you can see it broke below this 151 support. <coughs> and then it started to pop up and holding this 151 as support. I went ahead and took a little a long play there. Uh, and then it popped back, pop up, uh, but not, not enough volume. Um, so I went ahead and stopped out, like kind of break even. Uh, yeah, so it was break even on a long play. Um, so that's all I have for today. Uh, it was like a short loser and two short winners. Uh, that was just a total of forty dollars on the short side and break even on the long side on BIOC. Um, LM, another uh, flag that was on my alert. Uh, you can see it's creating this higher low, higher low. It broke above it, um, but not enough uh, volume to push it up. I was unrealized for like the twenty-five dollars up here, but I didn't take it. Um, then I end up taking a six-dollar loss there. RDN, another one of my alert plays. Uh, I can see it's creating a flag. Bought the flag. Uh, no volume. And I stopped out for pretty much flat. Uh, SBH, uh, another alert play, and 
Fairness a flag broke out, bought the broke, uh, and then just sold onto that uh, push. Uh, so small win, sixteen dollar win, and then Zine, which is my big play. Um, so Zine, uh, some background on the daily here. Uh, you can see the Doji uh, from on Friday, um, and then it was creating creating this uh, one. 12 era base area. Uh, it sold off right in the morning, um, which uh, I missed. Um, but then when it kind of bounced back and then fell to hold higher low, uh, you can see this uh, trend trend here broke. Um, so I went ahead and took a short there. I covered um, and then I covered a few, I think a quarter. Uh, which I should have took a uh, covered a little bit more and then I took out a uh, break even here so I pretty much lost uh, like a potential $60 extra profit here um, and then you can see that pattern so I short I short here for this uh, 1480 break took profit and stopped out so I'm losing a lot of profit uh, for that and then as you can see when I took this short here, I kind of just try my best to take all my profits. You can see there's a little cup and handle here during this break. I shorted there with my wrist off BWAP and then I added with my wrist off of here. And I just took off uh, profits down there uh, because I failed to take profits during these uh, two washout here. Um, so that was the hundred and seventy one dollar winner on the sign. Uh, three short spots, three winners. Um, but potentially it could have been a three hundred dollar winner. Um, so overall, um, trying to test my new alerts for my uh, flag break. Um, and just playing around with uh, smaller size handles, uh, and still trading my uh, cup and handle and momentum place. So overall, I'm up total of 204 for today. Um, good start for the Monday. Uh, I feel like momentum is coming back into the smaller caps, and hopefully it stay um, stay with uh, lots of setups. So as always, I would I would like to thank everyone for watching, and if you enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye bye.